Hello friends, how are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about um, edge computing, okay? So nowadays, if you look at IT world, um, the buzzword has been uh, edge computing in the recent days, right? Um, so we heard about edge, to edge computing and uh, 5G technology, which is helping edge computing to achieve its edge architecture, all those steps. But um, in this video, I just wanted to explain edge computing in simple terms so that you can understand and uh, utilize you, this concept in your organizations, okay? Okay, let's start with a simple example. Everyone loves vegetables, right? So basically, uh, if you want vegetables, what you do? You go to market and uh, get the vegetables and store it in the refrigerator and use it on the daily basis, right? Uh, have you ever thought about uh, uh, why we are going to market and getting the vegetables? Um, because you, if you go to market, you have to take your car and drive and reach the market, spend time in picking the vegetables and uh, go to the billing counter, get it built and bring it to your store, um, bring it to your um, home and then store it in the refrigerator and use it, right? Think about the time you spent on purchasing all these uh, vegetables by going to the market. Um, so when I was in Bangalore, uh, I used to live in a um, big apartment community. So what happened there? A cart, a vegetable cart person brings all the varieties of vegetables to the street and when the vegetable cart person comes to the street with all the vegetables, um, uh, the people from the apartment community come out and buy the vegetables. So what's the difference between that and this? So in this case, when the vegetable cart person brings all the vegetables, you don't need to drive to the market to pick the vegetable, you can save the time, right? Second thing is, if you go to market, there are chances that you may not get all the vegetables whatever you like or you have uh, in your mind, right? Here in this case, the vegetable cart person can bring the vegetables what you want if you just let him know that, hey, I want these vegetables, right? And um, third thing is, uh, when the vegetable cart person come to your uh, street, not only you purchase the vegetable and also the friends and neighbors, everyone can purchase the vegetables from him, right? Um, these are all the benefits of the vegetable cart person driving to your place and sell the vegetables so that you can buy and get benefit by saving the time uh, you um, usually do while going to the vegetable market and purchase, right? So edge computing is similar to this one. So what exactly edge computing is? Rather than taking all your application and data and putting into the cloud, the edge computing will bring the servers, infrastructure, everything to your place, your organization or your store where you uh, do your business and collect the data at your place. And then if you want to store it in the cloud or if you want to run that in the cloud, it will take it to the cloud, okay? So this is the um, analogy of um, having edge computing on your place, okay? So what other uh, features are there in the edge computing? So edge computing brings the cloud world on your on-premises or on your in infrastructure or in your organization where you are running your business, right? And um, how this uh, is possible? Uh, why this was not discussed uh, during the 4G technology days? In 4G technologies also the edge computing was there, but uh, um, because of uh, 4G's inability to perform certain uh, actions, the edge computing was not talked or successful in 4G technology world, okay? So when 5G was released and uh, the edge computing got the power because the 5G has following features. One is that it has a very low latency. So latency is just uh, transmitting the data to and from, right? Um, it will be quicker when you have high latency, it's a low latency, right? Um, 5G has like a 1 millisecond latency compared to 4G technology, which is like 200 millisecond latency. And second one is download speed. So normally when you use um, the modern uh, Internet of Things devices or any other devices at your home, the download speed is very, very important, right? So what is the download speed of uh, 5G? It is just 1.5 times faster than 4G download speed, okay? And third one is the base station. 
So, 5G technology has the concept called base station where uh, if you install the edge servers, edge computing, edge architecture in your on-premises and use the 5G technology, uh, this base station is the point of contact for all the devices in your organization or in your home to connect and talk. Okay? So, that is part of uh, 5G technology and the fourth one is cell density. So, in 5G, 5G technology, the cell density is uh, the capacity of number of devices this 5G technology can support. Okay? So, think about uh, the vegetable cart again. When the person brings the vegetable um, in a vegetable cart that has like you know big van kind of things, it can um, support um, more people in your street. right? Similarly, the 5G technology has the um, concept called uh, cell density or a feature called cell density that serves more than like a million number of devices uh, within 0.38 square miles. Okay? That is huge. So, suppose if you are implementing edge um, architecture in a, a city, okay, modern city where all the cars are going and you are going to connect all the cars to talk to the cloud through 5G technology, it can serve more than million cars in 0.38 square miles. Okay? That is the power of 5G technology cell density. And um, the fifth one is 5G has a feature called uh, OFDM. Okay? Basically, this OFDM has a, a feature to encode your data whatever you transmit in the telecommunication system. Uh, suppose if you are implementing the edge architecture in a city to modernize the city where all the cars are um, um, moving in in from one, one, one side of the road to another side of the road, what you will do? You will use this 5G technology to get the data from the cars, right? So, this OFDM helps to encode all the digital data before it is transmitting to other uh, networks. Okay, because of all these five capabilities or feature, uh, the the edge computing is uh, more powerful with the 5G technology. Okay, so this is how edge architecture will look like. So, you and your data, your devices, your communication devices, everything can be in that bottom most layer which connect to your uh, internet connected devices. For example, your iPhone, Android phone, a tablet or your uh, notebook or, or Macbook whatever right that is connected to the internet. So, when the devices are connected to this internet connected devices and communicate the data from that device to your uh, internet connected devices, the internet connected devices will use 5G technology to pass the data to edge architecture. Okay? Basically, the edge architecture is built with uh, edge servers and edge, edge network and after uh, receiving all the data from the internet connected devices, um, the edge server or edge uh, infrastructure will communicate to the public clouds. Okay? This is how uh, the edge architecture, simple edge architecture uh, looks like. Okay? So, I have provided many links in the description box below that you can click and learn more about edge computing and 5G technologies. Also, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel then uh, we can collaborate uh, more on this edge computing. Alright, take care. Bye.